I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna clap, clap, turn around, turn around, dance, dance. dance. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about 1.5X Anamorphics and what I think is my favorite set. Now, there's a couple 1.5s coming out on the market. Some are great, some are not, some are all over the place. I feel like 1.5 is a weird place where nothing just is inherently fantastic and there's always some form of drawback. You know, with the Nanomorphs, they're very tiny, not great mechanics, have some pin cushion. With the Mercuries, decent in Super 35, borderline unusable and full frame, but fantastic mechanics. I feel like this is a great middle ground for Anamorphic at a 1.5 squeeze where we need some more options. And this is where I feel like the Ivascope 1.5X scope is a really amazing option. I'll tell you why. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Ivascope and why I really, really, really like this scope. Now, the Ivascope is a single focus solution where you can throw it on the front of several different taking lenses. And this to me is actually where I think it has a lot of possibility assuming you have multiple scopes like we do here. Now we've put all of our Ivascopes on the front of our do lens set, which gives you a 1.5X do lens, which almost when you see it looks like just a normal lens, no bigger than let's say a Sigma 18 to 35 photo lens. Now, what's cool about this is you can adapt it to several lenses that are coming out, like the Mikeys, the Do Lens, the Athenas, uh, with some step down rings, even the Vespids, as well as several other taking optics. You can also adapt it to older vintage lenses, like FDs, Contact Size, uh, Olympus, Minolta, you pick, doesn't matter. As long as the filter threads can line up, you can get these on there. Now, these mostly cover Super 35, uh, but you know, around 45 and over, they do claim full frame coverage. And the really cool thing about these that I like is they're modular. If you have several of them and you can build a set, it's really cool to say, maybe for this part of our movie, we're shooting on the do lens as our base optics, but we have these flashbacks and it's supposed to be dreamier and more interesting. You could switch to something much warmer and old like FDs and have something with a softer fall off and more interesting flares, you know, color wise that now change the perception of what your 1.5 is. And to me, that's really, really fun. All you need to do is set your taking lens to infinity and then you use your front here to be your focus. And the Ivascope has a really good close focus capability. The fall off is really pretty. And you know, the fact that the front telescopes means you do need to use a lightweight map box to not, you know, ruin the travel of the front. But all in all, the 1.5 is a great middle ground between 1.3 and 2X. It still gives you almost more oval looking bokeh similar to 2X, but has a little bit more format friendly uh, capabilities like 133. So it really is a great sweet spot. And I'm waiting for a manufacturer to really come out and knock it out of the park with a really dialed 1.5 option. But in the meantime, until that happens, I really do think that this set can give you so much flexibility, ease of use, still works on higher end sets, but also great for indie sets as well. They're not super expensive, so they are pretty affordable to rent. So we went out and shot some footage of these outside of the studios, specifically with the Do Lens set. Um, really cool, we had a couple actors lined up to do a little scene. We took these out to shoot a little portraiture, some like lifestyle stuff. Um, and all in all, they just perform really great. We shot the scenes on the Raptor uh, in 6K, uh, with a 1.5 squeeze, where he shot all the portrait stuff on the Mini LF. I feel like no matter what you put these on, it just immediately adds tons of character and interest uh, that you don't see too much, because I do feel 1.5 is still pretty rare. Great example of something shot on 1.5 that looks amazing was the show Lupin on Netflix. Get a chance, check that out. Really great movie, really showcases how great you can make a 1.5 look. And this is a really great 
budget alternative to get into that look for cheap while still being effective, having modularity, and giving you, the filmmaker, the choice to choose your looks. All right, thanks for watching our video on the Ivascopes. Really think these can be a super great solution for filmmaking, top to bottom. Gives you a really great, creative, fun way to switch up your looks on the fly. One of my favorite sets, if you haven't tried them and you want to try them, get a hold of us. We do ship these out. So thanks for watching. Join us next time. Remember, like and subscribe. Always putting out more content. We'll catch you soon.